This is Peter from Vitalista with one more video. I have been doing Terraform a lot lately. I think I've done the last few things about Terraform. This is one video that I would like to do, which is regarding how to use Terraform Cloud and GitHub Actions to automate your deployment once you push to Git. So let's get started. If you don't know what Terraform Cloud is, it's a hosted service developed by HashCorp that provides a collaborative workspace for teams to use Terraform, which is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool. In other words, Terraform Cloud helps to manage your Terraform state files and change history in the cloud. And GitHub Actions probably goes without saying if you're watching this video, but for those that are starting, it's a continuous integration and continuous delivery platform that allows you to automate your build, test, and deployments pipeline. Okay, for this tutorial, if you wanted to follow step by step, you would need VS Code also on your local machine, Git installed uh, to push the code. You need to have a GitHub account to create a repository. Also, you need to have a Terraform account. So those two that I've just mentioned are free, obviously. And also you need to have a Azure Databricks workspace uh, where you have admin rights. Probably you have to have some uh, small cost there for this exercise. So let's get started. So the first step is on GitHub, you need to create a new repository. You just go new and then choose which uh, organization are going to um, own your repository. In my case, it's myself. Then create a repository, whatever name you like, but I'm gonna give this name. And I'll make it public so you can look at later. So it's Terraform Cloud Databricks. Uh, oh, I'm gonna add a readme file and also a git ignore for Terraform. And I'll create a repository. That's the first step. Now, you can go to your local machine and whatever, choose the folder. I have a folder called code and then you can clone, git clone, and then you just paste that here and then clone it locally. First CD into that directory and then open VS Code. So now you have a clean project with your git ignore and your readme file. I'm gonna add instructions later. So what I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna work on a feature branch, I'm just gonna create a new branch. So put git. Uh, check out and then dash b I'll call it feature feature branch cool now it's checked out the feature now you can create a terraform file I'll call it main for this project it's going to be a very simple Databricks cluster and then I have the code here for you in the readme I'm just gonna copy and paste and explain to you what's happening. So I have a Terraform block with the required version. That's gonna be the same version at least on my Terraform cloud. And then I have a Databricks provider. I have two variables, the Databricks raw host and a token, which I will later add to my Terraform cloud. I have my provider. Databricks uh, that I'm initializing, and I'm just gonna use the authenticate authentication using the token. I'll create a token later. I'll show how to do it. Then I'm going to just get the information about the smallest cluster, uh, Spark version, and then uh, the resource that I'm creating is a Databricks cluster that's gonna be called Shared Outscaling. 20 minutes to finish scale to one to three and I have a custom tag called Terraform Cloud. And I'm just gonna output at the end Terraform Workspace and the cluster ID. So that's the first step. You go to your Terraform Cloud, in my case here. 
you have if, if you don't have an account create an account and then it's for free create an organization in my case I have my organization here with my name I don't have any workspace I'm gonna create one I'm gonna choose option API driven workflow and the workspace name it can be any name you like but in my case I'm gonna call it demo.bricks and then you put create success it's done after that I'm gonna create the github workflow folder so first one I create one folder called github and then inside that folder I could afford called work flows with with s at the end and then inside this folder I'm gonna create two files one file called terraform plan yemo which I'm gonna copy and paste the content here and I'll explain to you what's happening and another file called another file called terraform apply so if you haven't watched any video about Terraform, probably you should watch my previous video, which I go in detail what's a Terraform apply, Terraform plan. Let's go through it. So a Terraform plan is just to check if the plan that you have on your Terraform files is gonna work. So it's kind of like almost 100% sure. If it's green, it's gonna work. So that's triggered with a pull request. So whenever I have a pull request in my repository, that's going to call the API from Terraform and test this plan in Terraform Cloud. So in your case, you have to put the name of your organization. That's the name of mine. So that's going to be a little bit different. And then your workspace name. So everything else is the same. You don't need to change. So what's happening here is just like uploading the configuration, uh, create a plan, and then just print a lot of things in the CLI in your runner in GitHub. So the apply is pretty much apply the plan and pushing the infrastructure to Databricks. So the next step is you need to create the creative variables in your Terraform Cloud workspace. The first variable is very simple which is called the Databricks host. Okay, you put key at Databricks host, host, and then the host, if you go in your Databricks um, workspace in Azure, you just copy this URL and paste here. And then you put add variable. The next variable is token, add variable, and the value here, you're gonna have to launch your workspace. You come here, go to settings, developer, access token. Uh, this is a node one that I had. I'm just gonna delete this, create a new one. You're gonna call Terraform, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. You copy and paste here. And I'll add again and call it token because this one needs to be sensitive because that's going to hide. So token, token, and add variable. And then here I can just put done. You see that I don't have any compute. There will be a class that's going to pop up here. So that's so far so good. Next you've noticed that in my code on the Terraform main, you have the provider authentication that we just done. That's gonna be two variables. But also here in your GitHub workflow, you have this secret called Terraform API token that you also need to create. But this one is created in from cloud you go to I'm gonna paste this a little bit because there are two ways that you can create a token 
can have an organizational token or a Teams token. That's going to be a Teams token. It's a little bit hard to navigate the menu of Terraform Cloud. I'll be honest with you. So but I'm just going to copy and paste that um, to the right location where you have to generate the token. It's in settings. So here, I'm just going to delete this one that I've done the dry run for this video. You just need to put create an API token. I'm just going to call it GitHub. And I'll generate a token. And you copy this one and put on a safe place. So once you put on a safe place, you have to go to GitHub on your repository, go to settings, and then secrets and variables actions, and then repository secret, new repository secret. And then you have to call exact that name, which is that name, TF API token. Just gonna copy and paste to be sure that it's exactly the same. And the token should be here still. Probably you have to copy because if you refresh this page, it's gonna disappear. Make sure that you copy, paste, add secret. Okay, with all of that, I think I can commit and push my code. If I go to my code, I have all the changes that I've done. I've added this file, this file, and this file, and I've done all the configuration on the background. I'm just gonna put uh, on the message here, add a Terraform and GitHub actions files I'm gonna commit yes and then I'm just gonna publish the branch the feature branch nothing's gonna happen because it's only going to be triggered this for with a pull request let's see in github how it's look how it's looking so there is a feature brand pushed if I go to a feature so that's all my files here. Now I'm going to open a pull request. Okay, merge to master. I'm just going to create it. And that's going to trigger an action to validate my plan. So wait for a few seconds. Looks like it's not working. Okay, that was a mistake. So I fixed this. So I move those to GitHub and check that. So dot GitHub folder fix. And it's gonna sync. Now that's gonna trigger on that pull request. Go to pull request. And yeah, now it trigger a action. So it's running. Let's see the action in action. So that's going to trigger a process inside uh, Terraform Cloud. Now it's just running the plan. <laughs> the plan is queued. It's planning. Let's see what's happening there. If I go to my Terraform organization on that workspace, if I go on runs, so there's something happened. Yeah, the plan is finished and it's showing uh, one resource will be created. So that's the my data bricks. And there are two output plans here. The cluster ID only, it's gonna be known after apply. So let's go back to, data uh, to GitHub. It looks like the plan in the pull request is okay. I go to the pull request. My plan is okay. It's working. So let's put a thumbs up. And if I merge and confirm, that's gonna trigger the not the other action, which if you go to my code here, you see that the apply is gonna be a push to master, which is a merge, it's the same thing. So if you go now to actions. So that triggered that action. That's the outlook. So it's creating a apply run. So it's planning. 
let's see if my run there is something here so there is current run apply it's queued so it's almost there now it's running the plan is finished so let's see my yeah it started to create a cluster in my data bricks if i go here that's the owner terraform cloud exactly the way i put in my terraform the name of the cluster is shared out scaling so if you want to see the code of this where it got from it's coming from the terraform databricks provider documentation so it's on databricks cluster and i pretty much copy and paste here and i've changed a little oh, this is serverless one so i think i'm using the one at the top yeah this one i just reduced the name of the workers and put some tags so pretty much everything else is the same so I'm positive I'm gonna pause the video because it's gonna take about five minutes to complete. So it, it waits until the compute is done. So let's wait. Yeah, my cluster now looks like it's deployed and all happening. Looks like then my Terraform apply is complete. I'm gonna get a green tick here in my CI CD and also a green tick here. And if I go here to what was created, I have the outputs, I get the cluster ID, which matches with that one. If you see here, that's my cluster ID. Cool. So 0817, 0817, and blah blah. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm just going to go and destroy everything. First, I'm going to destroy my resources. Destroy. It's going to create a plan. So one will be destroyed. And I'm just going to pay confirm and apply. I'll put any message here, but I'm just going to put destroy that's gonna apply and if i go here to my data bricks that's gonna go yeah it's gone so here should be done and finally i can delete my workspace a success i don't have a workspace here because this was just a demo but i will leave with you my repository for you to have a look it's going to be public we'll have the actions they run the code i'm just going to merge the feature yeah the master is here i have uh, i'll put in the readme uh, new annotations and then it should be fine all right thanks for watching if you have any questions put on the comments below like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed thanks very much See you next time.